Welcome back profit takers. So today we're going to take a look at some of the symbols, the indices, the metals that are setting up for tomorrow. Now tomorrow is going to be a, it's a holiday and it's, you're not going to trade, be able to trade the whole day, especially with futures. Um, so hopefully, you know, you can get in, um, at nine and I believe they close at 12. Hmm, excuse me. Um, so let's just take a look. I mean, the week is almost over. <laughs> Wednesday today, uh, this is DJ, the Dow Jones. And today, this particular market um, reset a couple of times. All right. So if we, if we go back here to Friday, we can see how price uh, broke out on Friday. Oops, let me take the scroll off. On Friday, it broke out of the previous day high, fell, put in a low, right, as well on the same day. And that that's a day zero, okay? So then Monday came along, put in a high, right? So it was almost looking like we're going to have a peak high, and I was thinking we're going to probably get an opportunity to short this market um, on the following day because I was able to take this short on Monday. So I was like, okay, we'll probably get another chance to go short. Uh, but then Tuesday came and it came to the previous day low and the breakout failed. So we were going long. All right. So this one, and again, it took forever. <laughs> like by the time this trade, it was like after my trading window. Right. So I didn't really get the chance to take that trade long there. Um, but I did take this short, you know trade that did happen right there. And then that was it. So then now, um, Tuesday, you know, we can see that price, although it's still inside of the range, it did close above. Right. So today, you know, looking at the market Wednesday, I was like, okay, it looks like, you know, we have opportunity to go long here. Um, but it didn't. Okay. So it broke out. So for the earlier sessions, they were able to take this long if they did take this long in, in London. Um, but it, again, it did, the breakout felt came out of the previous day high, came back inside and I was able to short this market today as well. And then of course, you know, when noon came around, I had to shut everything down, uh, for the future side. All right. Um, so now we're back inside of the range <laughs> so tomorrow I'm going to see, okay, are we going to, um, break above the closing price, right? Cause this, this orange line here represents the day open closing price or whatever. I don't have that indicator yet for MT5. Um, I'm still waiting on my developer to add it to the, the actual, uh, dashboard. Um, I think it's important. Okay. Um, so what we're going to wait to see what happens tomorrow is if price comes here to this low and either breaks it, right, gets support at this 50% level um, and continues on, on up or does it break down, right? So it, is that going to happen in the time that we have available to trade? I don't know. Maybe we might get an opportunity. Maybe we won't. You know, maybe it will um, give us an opportunity on Friday, right, to trade this. But Right now, I don't know, um, it's just inside of the, the range right now, but obviously if this thing was going to short, then it would need for, it would need to break this low and stay broken below the low. If it's going to be long, then obviously we need support on the, the open price, open or close price, whichever one you use. I think sometimes they can be fairly close and then continue to proceed to, to break the highs. So it's been having trouble breaking the highs as we can see here, right? From last week's high, didn't break it. It did not break it here. It did not break it here. Um, so that's three attempts. <laughs> Is it going to actually do it this time? I don't know. So we're just, you know, these levels are, are key areas where I'm going to pay attention to and just wait for, um, you know, see what it's going to do, if it's going to break the high or it's going to break, break, you know, continue to break down. Um, so yeah, not sure exactly what's going to happen. I mean, it's not like, 
you know, if this was a straight up Green Day signal, you know, perhaps it would would have closed above, right? It would have closed in breakout, but it didn't do that. So we just have to kind of wait and see. But the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ and S&P, boy, they, they were the best trades. They were the, the most awesomest trades for today. <laughs> so we look here, we can see Friday breakout that failed. So that was a peak high. And then Monday came along, that breakout, that peak high, it failed. So now we have a reset, right? When it hits both sides of the range like that and fails. So that's a reset. So Tuesday, um, um, we had a uh, opportunity to take this thing long. It closed in breakout. So today, you know, this was the trigger for today to go uh, to go long and hopefully, you know, price behaved and you're able to actually go long, <laughs> right? And it also provided that as well. But again, for the future side, you know, most of us did not get to take this trade because the markets were closed at noon. So it was such a bummer, right? And so now the price, the market is still in breakout, right? So the question is, are we going to get another opportunity? Is it going to break above the previous day high and continue to, to press on up? You know, that would be ideal, but you know, breakouts do fail. So it could come up to this level and then just break down, right? We don't know. It's going to be day three. So, um, it could go depending on what happens, you know, at this level, um, we'll find out. Right. And again, same thing with the S and P very similar, right. Um, where we had the, uh, both sides of the range, uh, fail and then it, you know, it's a day zero. And then of course, Tuesday we had the reset closed above. And so it gave us a signal to go along today. So total bummer, you know, for the futures market to be able to trade such a beautiful setup. Now let's look at oil crude. This one, um, slightly different pattern. So let's see, Friday, um, it broke out and fell, it was inside. Monday, it stayed inside of the range, but it did close out of balance, okay? So Tuesday, um, it did, you didn't have an opportunity to go long, but then it did fail, right? But it did not continue to break down, right? We got some support here. Um, so today, you know, I was like, okay, um, we're going to wait to see what price does with this level, right? The previous day low, is it going to break out and fell? Right. And it did. It just, you know, we had news, we had all kinds of news today as well. Right. So, um, we did finally get, you know, this thing to stabilize right above, you know, the previous day low and the, uh, closed price and we're able to continue to go long. But again, for those of you who trade futures, you couldn't trade this all the, all the day long because it, the markets were closed. So another bummer. So this one closed inside. I mean, it obviously still looks like we have an opportunity to go long here, but that's really only going to be, I'm only going to know once we break out, right? When we break out and we continue to press on up, then, then we'll definitely know, right? Um, what else? Gold. Now gold, this one closed out of balance. Um, for today, again, we were at the low for two days. So this was a very good, very good signal. Price was inside of the range for two days. And so going long today was the play, right? Um, so the earlier sessions definitely got an opportunity to get in here long. Still we're outside. We close outside of the range opened inside. So hopefully, you know, it's a day three trade. Again, we'll see if we get an opportunity to take this trade long or is the breakout going to fail, right? That's really the only thing that we can um, look at. So pay attention to the, to the levels where you're at based on your time when you trade, right? Because the previous day high, the open or the close, previous day close price, pre previous day low, those are the key levels of where you want to pay attention to. All right. And see what price does or price, you know, whatever they do, however they behave in that level for the time. So London, you know, the third hour is about 4 a.m. for me. And then, of course, for New York, the third hour is at nine for me. Um, I'm central time. So, 
that would be 10 for Eastern, Eastern people, 10 a.m. So anyway, guys, um, that's what I'm looking at for tomorrow. If the opportunity presents itself, um, then we'll take it. So good luck to y'all. We'll see you in the next one.